Today, guys, is the start of a series. Hey guys, Max here, and today we are back with a brand new series on the channel. Today, guys, is the start of a series called Cosmic Sky Tutorials, and hopefully, you guys are all excited for this. I know a ton of new players are joining the server every day, and I just decided to make this series so then all of the new players can understand and know how to play because it is pretty hard when you first start everything is a bit confusing but i am here to show you guys how to play and how to get started on cosmic sky if this video helps you out make sure you guys go down below and smash the like button so people know that it helped you out so it can help out other people but yo i'm very excited for this let's actually get into it so the first thing that we want to do on the server is create an island so that is what we're going to be doing we are going to be creating an island the command that you guys have to do is slash is create and as you guys can all see you can choose your island origins so over here there are three types of origins which you guys can all choose from over here we have the cosmic federation the perks for the cosmic federation are plus 25 percent xp gain plus 10 percent outgoing pve damage and minus five percent incoming pvp damage so if you guys want to do this one then you can it depends what you guys like um if you want to get more xp if you're going to be going to adventures and if you pvp a ton then you might want this one um, also we have the space pirates over here which is super nice this is the one that i picked when i first started over here you can see you get a plus 15 percent sell price you get a plus 10 percent resource node respawn and then a two percent dodge passive so pretty nice if you are wanting to make a ton of money over here we have the coat of your g key this origin is a more for the pvpers the perks for court of yujiki is plus 10 percent pvp damage one percent weather passive immune to slowness so if i'm a pvper which i am i would definitely choose this but for the tutorial's sake we are going to be using a space pirate space pirates is super good so let's actually wait for our island to be created and here we go guys we are on our island and if you guys are wondering max i don't like how this island looks if you guys want to destroy your island super quick you want to go over here to slash toggle and then you want to make sure you have insta block break enabled so once you have it enabled you'll be able to break everything super easy so it feels like you're in creative mode right now which it should you guys can destroy everything in your path it is super easy and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun man let's quickly destroy everything here and i'll be back in just a sec Alrighty guys, so we are finally back getting rid of everything on our island and let's actually see if we can sell everything which we have. Oh wow, okay just by destroying your island you almost make around $500 which is super OP guys. So that is a little tip for you guys out there, make sure you destroy your island because yo, like you could probably make it even better you guys just saw that i made 500 dollars from destroying my island like that is super op i didn't even know i'd make that much but right now we're gonna throw everything out into the void because we don't need any of this you guys can keep it if you want to design your island but in this case i am not going to keep it so there we go if you guys don't know when you join the server everyone has the kit starter so we want to make sure and claim this there's a cooldown which is one day so you guys can actually use this every single day so as you can all see you can get cookies apples seeds a log node a wooden hoe a chest two saplings you get three hundred dollars and you get four grass blocks so you guys want to claim the money note you also want to start placing down your saplings because that is how you're going to get more log nodes so you just want to place these over here and you want to wait for them to grow just like that but while we're waiting guys what we can do is place our log node somewhere over here first things first we want to make sure that we mine our tree because this is a really good way of getting a lot more log nodes log nodes are really nice to have because once you have a certain amount of them you can actually start creating some tools and you know they are really handy when you mine your tree over here you guys can see that you get a log resource fragment and you need five of these to make a log resource node so 
pretty simple all you guys want to do is just keep replanting your saplings and keep mining down your trees because by doing that you're going to be able to get a lot of log nodes so i would definitely do that if i was you there we go guys we got our third log node pretty simple make sure you guys do this as well you get a lot of log nodes so guys if we do a slash help crafting over here you guys need five resource fragments to make a log node and then once you have a log node you place that and as you guys can see the loot that you get from this is wood scrap and the respawn time for this is one minute over here you need three wooden scrap to craft a oak wood plank let's actually craft a wood plank right now so let's farm this quickly and yeah let's actually get three of these so we have three wood scrap and then we go over here and we can get oak wood plank these over here can be used for crafting if you go to the shop and you try to buy wood from over here these you cannot use them to craft because they are cosmetic blocks so you won't be able to craft anything with these so make sure you guys get a bunch of log nodes they're going to be really useful for making tools in the future let's actually see if we've got any more saplings and wow guys we got a bunch of saplings over here and there we go we actually did a challenge so if you guys don't know on the server they have ice challenges and we just completed a challenge called new beginning so let's actually claim our reward you actually get rewards from completing your challenges so over here we get a wood resource node as a reward let's claim that and the next one over here we need to harvest 20 wood node fragments from breaking down tree this is where breaking down the trees come in useful so you guys want to make sure that you're completing your highest challenges very useful and they help out a ton so uh, let's actually place this log node right here there we go guys if you guys want to complete this challenge as fast as possible i would say buy a couple of dirt blocks and then go over here and just place the sapling you do get a bunch of saplings from mining down these trees we want to complete this challenge over here so you guys can all see that we need to harvest 20 wood node fragments from breaking down trees so we're just gonna keep mining our trees there we go guys we have completed our challenge so if we go over to ice challenges once again you can see over here that we can actually claim a reward and the reward that we get from this is a stone axe so gg guys right there we got a stone axe and that is gonna come in super handy so if you guys don't know we're gonna go over here and mine down this tree we're gonna have a ton of log resource fragments and what we want to do with those we want to craft a ton of log nodes right over here so boom there we go guys we now have a bunch of log nodes and what you guys want to do is actually farm these over here because they're gonna come in pretty useful make sure you guys don't shift when you're mining your log nodes because that will actually destroy it and you guys don't want that so you just want to make sure that you're not shifting and uh, yeah if we do slash ice challenges our next challenge is to harvest 25 wood resource nodes so that's gonna be pretty simple we can break down some more trees to get a lot more log nodes if you guys want to do that go ahead you don't have to but if you guys want to progress quickly if i was you i would definitely do it so let's actually keep grinding over here so over here we want to keep farming our log nodes if we go over here we have completed 40 percent of this challenge and it should be done fairly quickly guys i'll be back once i've completed this challenge Alrighty boys, so we are back and as you can see we have actually placed down a lot more log nodes This is really useful for completing this challenge So there we go guys, we have completed the challenge and that was super easy So we want to get the reward right now and there we go So now what we want to do is manually harvest 50 wheat So you guys can see that we have a ton of money We currently have 800 dollars so guys what you want to do right now is go over to the shop and buy a lot of dirt we're gonna quickly get rid of this you guys just want to place your dirt anywhere you can i would recommend just the middle of your island you guys want to go over here and buy a water bucket 
and they just want to place it over there so once you have your farm made you guys therefore want to start placing your seeds if i was you guys i would definitely buy seeds and dirt and expand the farm because that way you're going to be completing the challenge a lot faster and you know you don't have to wait as long so hopefully that helps you guys out a ton and boom there you go guys very very easy just like that and if we do such ice challenges here we are almost completed this challenge in the next episode we will be making our wheat farm and we will also be progressing throughout the challenges hopefully we can get to stone age that is the goal but yeah if this did actually help you out make sure you guys go down below and smash the like button subscribe if you guys are new and also comment down below anything you would like to see within this series so thanks so much guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode peace Roll, roll, roll to the ships even though I shouldn't AMDA next stop, new wave, new place Man, I'm cruising the pudding Flip that, hold the feds ain't looking Jump in a lab with a beat, then fill up a spliff Then get to the cook